Welcome back. Hum. Welcome. Bem-vindo de volta ao meu canal de YouTube. Por favor, então... <risos> Gente. Olá, olá, olá. Oh, meu Deus. This is the third one. This is the third one that I'm recording. Hello, hello. Um, just putting a timer on here because I have a feeling this I'm gonna have to, you know, um, do another clip of this on my camera because it only allows videos to be recorded for like 30 minutes. Um, like that's what the SD card takes. I said SIM card last episode. <laughs> I was like, what? Um, gente, tô falando aqui que tô colocando um, como se fala? Timer. É, aí, porque a minha câmera, né, o SD card, não sei como fala também, a, o SD card tem limite de 30, é, 30 minutos. Colocando aqui 25 para dar um pouquinho de tempo pra gente, né, tá falando aqui, mim, mim, mim. É, porque aí, é, é isso, só deixa, me deixa gravar por, tipo, 30 minutos só num vídeo, né? Aí tenho que pausar, ó, tenho que acabar gravando aí, colocar de novo o, o, o vídeo. Não sei se isso uh, fez sentido, mas. Eu, eu tinha que. Não sei porque eu expliquei isso, mas acho, acho que é importante, né? Tem muito negócio aqui, meu Deus, é, é muita coisa fazer tudo isso, sabe? Muita coisa. E aqui eu, eu tô é aprendendo, sabe? Tô colocando time aqui, que eu esqueci a última vez pra saber por quanto tempo tá gravando o um negócio aqui no... porque o áudio tá, tá aqui, não é o mesmo dali sabe? É, aprendendo, we're learning, estamos aprendendo é, tá aí sendo que tá colocando tô aprendendo todo este, este negócio que tenho aqui colocando o tempo aqui para eu saber quanto é coloquei um um, um reloj aqui que me deixe saber Quanto tempo também estou gravando, porque para que me dê saber, para de gravar, sabe? É, então, nada. Actually, I don't even know why, why would I... <laughs> My, this is pointless, me putting a, a timer, because I already have a thing set up over there. Do you know what I mean? We're learning, estamos aprendiendo. Ok, so este reloj no me va a ayudar, porque yo ya, ya sé que está grabando aquí. Yo hablando de, así a mí, a mí... <laughs> A mim mesma, eu falo, eu falando aqui comigo mesmo. Então, gente, this is all going in. Like, I'm not cutting this shit off. Um, you know, because this is the reality of starting something and just saying fuck it and not having this whole idea, like, you know, set up of, yeah, road notes of what I want to talk about. But, like, as I get, you know, into the habit of this, like, I don't know, 20 min, uh, episodes in, I'm going to know already how to set this up. I'm not going to have to look at instructions or whatever the hell. You know what I mean? So, é isso, gente. Eu vou colocar tu, tudinho, uh, uh, todinho, todinho, tudinho, 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 acho que é tudinho. Aqui, que eu tô falando agora, porque, é, sabe, eu, tô, eu quero mostrar como que é começar... Um, uma, um projeto, né, uma, uma, não sei, uma, uma coisa nova, né, é, sem saber muito bem, né, daqui a 20 episódios já eu vou colocar tudo rapidinho aí, pam, 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 eu vou saber, sem ter que ler um, a, as in, instruções, né, então é isso. Ok, eu tenho já três minutos aí, aí fala, uh, falando, então vocês deixam, let's ground ourselves, let's ground ourselves, because this is, you know, it's a crazy chaotic start like oh my god oh my god i have to this let's just take some deep breaths you know inhale é isso gente inhale segura aí exhale let go let go let go mais um uno mais aí let's go one more inhale inhala segura lo aí hold exhale Oof. You put your hand over your heart because you hear that? It's beating, it's beating, it's beating. And we're here. We're here today. Um, May 3rd. Yes, May 3rd. 
I'm recording this at right now is exactly nine twenty. Um May third, twenty twenty three. Uh this is it's crazy. It's crazy that um I'm doing this, and also it's crazy, all the love and support that I've received. Um, at this point, actually this week on Monday, I believe, May 1st, right? I think two days ago, so that makes, yeah, May 1st. <laughs> I uploaded um, the first episode that I had recorded in February 23, 24, 24th of this year. Uh, but I, I had only uploaded it this, this week because... Yeah, I, I fell into a depressive, um, you know, sort of like episode, state, face, I don't know. And um, I, yeah, I obviously could not upload it. So I did it. E, uh, eu agradeço muito o apoio, gente. Eu, eu tinha postado o primeiro episódio, sinceramente, todo o apoio que o pessoal de lá do Brasil que que tá espalhando, né, me, me dando, né, eu agradeço sinceramente, gratidão, <risos> gratidão, todo apoio a minha, a minha gente aí, mesmo que, cara, te, é, te, uh, teve pessoal, americanos, né, ou outros é, latinos, que não falam português, eles falaram, nossa, eu gostei muito, mesmo sem saber o que, tu, <risos> o que você tava falando em português, ai, mãe, nossa, que lindo, né, você sem saber o que eu tô falando ainda ouviu minha voz? Ah, gente, é muito lindo. É, nada, estou muito emocionada porque, sinceramente, o apoio que me han dado é incrível. Não, não. A gente que eh, escutou o primeiro episódio, não? Que eu lo, 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 lo coloquei em vivo aí há como dois dias. Estamos em maio, o 23. Well, El 3 de mayo de 2023, uh, o 3 de maio aqui, 2023, né? Estou tentando de traduzir, interpretar, sei lá, eh, traduzir e interpre interpretar entre estos três idiomas eh, lo mejor que puedo. Então, deixa eu falar primeiramente, é, é isso, gratidão, muitíssimas graças, te lo agradeço muito a todos, um, é incrível. Eh, ai, Deus meu, é que yo paro y, y pienso y como que me dan hasta ganas de, de llorar eh, si, si sigo pensando y, y reflexionando en todo ese amor y, y no nada más con, con yo tan solo subir este, bueno, eh, eh, publicar ese episodio, sino que el cariño que siempre la gente me tiene es increíble. Es increíble. Y we can talk about that in, in another episode. The amount of love and uh, appreciation and just courage, uh, encouragement and just inspiring words I always receive from people. It's absolutely incredible and I'm just so grateful for it. Um, so I, I just want to take a moment, you know, to acknowledge that. And um, yeah, I also want to just, um, well, I, I, I do want to say, I want to say a few things. Let me, let me go and in the order that I wrote them, because if not, this is going to be all over the place. Um, so I'm working myself through, you know, setting up some kind of pattern or some kind of structure, you know? Um, okay. So, I, I, I guess one of the things I, I, I did want to, you know, um, say is, it's, a, it's an ego boost, receiving the amount of love that I have, you know, and a, um, sort of like this attention or like va uh, validation from posting or after posting the, the, um, the first episode. Cause I lit, I had no plan and posted it on Monday. I just literally was like, fuck it. I have, I had edited it. I, you know, put the audio together. It wasn't even much editing. Like, honestly, I just like synced in the audio with the video and that was it. <laughs> But I had done it, and, and like, it was just sitting there. So I, I could have easily, like, not easily, because I was going through it, but I could have uploaded it before, but I, I had no schedule, and, okay, when is, am I going to go up? I didn't even know if that was going to come out of, you know, if I, if I was ever going to make that public, because I, that day when I recorded it, I just wanted, I just said, fuck it, let me just do it, and just give it a try and see how it looks and how, how it turns out. And then if, you know... If I can, if I can upload the audio or whatever, if, if this is seeable by people, if people can actually hear me <laughs> and it all works out, then sure. So 
on Monday, I don't know what it was. I just said, fuck it, I'm uploading it and let's just get something started because I, I think part of it is because I, I, I'm just now, you know, I'm seeing the light of this whole thing that I had going on mentally and um, I wanted like just to work on something to get my mind back and to feel like I have, I'm gaining control over you know my situation and so i think that was part part of it I, I think that was like one of the first steps that i was just like let me just do this and just get it over with and the roll the, the ball will get rolling so um it's an ego boost it's definitely an ego boost and it's out of managing because i like just managing emotions and sort of like balancing out like i appreciate and i'm super grateful for all the love like i'm super super grateful um and again it's incredible um, however, I'm a nobody at the end of the day, like I'm a nobody, I'm a nobody. And I mean that in the way of like, there's so much that goes on into, um, man, I'm getting a sound. I don't know if this is from, I don't know. Hopefully the audio comes out clear. Anyways, um, I, I, I mean that I'm a nobody in the sense that in the end, you know, I want to be able to take and I'm practicing this, you know, day in, day out. Yes, I take in all the love, but I also don't want it to freaking, you know, like I, I, I don't want to take it at a level that makes me depend on it, you know. And so it's it's very important that I'm just like, yeah, I, I appreciate that. But like, OK, you know what I mean? Like, I appreciate it. But then I, 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 I reflect back and I'm like, okay, I'm, I, I'm a nobody at that. Like, I'm, I'm a nobody. The same way we, we take, you know, like criticism or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, you said that. Okay, you don't like me. Like, okay. You know, so I, I, I want to um, hold space for it, but not let it get to me. Like, I'm not, it's just because it's, it's a lot. Um, so I just wanted to just talk about that because I while I am very grateful for, you know, all the support I, I always receive and my creative outlets or the things that I've, I've posted in the last years, um, I think it's extremely important and I always do my best to bring light to the fact that, bro, I do, I, I share things and whatever, but at the end of the day, like, you're allowing yourself to receive that. If it wasn't for you allowing yourself to receive that, then, bro, what is the whole point, you know? So I do it because it, you know, obviously I love it and I, I enjoy, well, yeah, I, it, it brings me out of warmth and, um, there's a, it just, it, it sets my soul on fire, putting something out there, a, a piece of me, like I, I'm, I'm a kind of person that I literally wear my heart on my sleeve and I'm, if I'm going through it, I'll, you know, I like sharing it and I, I, I like just sharing experiences. That's just who I am. And so that brings me life whether people, you know, like it or not, like, um, I, I think it's always important, um, to do it. And obviously at the, like, you know, I share things and continue to share things because I, I see that it does help people. Um, but a huge part of it is because there's people that allow themselves to, right. Um, at the same time, there's people that, you know, come across my stuff and don't allow themselves to, and that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, a lot of ego boost, a lot of ego boost. <laughs> um, and uh i i'm gonna try i'm gonna try and, and interpret all of this that i just said in you know in spanish and in, in in portuguese now um então gente eu a, a, acabei de explicar né para o pessoal que não entende o inglês né um que realmente eu ah, ah é, como eu falei eu agradeço muito tudo o apoio e tudo isso mas no final do dia, eu não sou alguém, sabe? Eu não sou, um, tipo, relevante. Não sou, não sei se é relevante, mas eu literalmente não tenho muito significado neste mundo, sabe? No sentido que, um, porque eu expliquei que todo o apoio, todas aquelas palavras... É, lindas que o pessoal me tem enviado, vocês, né? Ah, as, tipo, é lindo e é muito bom, mas dá muito... Um, não sei, é, você fica... Nossa, eu sou... Menina foda. Uh, 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 
<risos> Mas aí, tipo, é bom balancear. Porque é como eu falei, no final do dia, eu não sou alguém, tipo, eu não... Ok, eu, eu sou um tipo de pessoa que eu quero ser, eu tô trabalhando pra isso, né? Mas eu não sei se, se isso faz sentido. Se, se eu me dou pra, é, é pra entender. É importante, tipo, é, aceitar, né? Colocar, dar espaço pra, pra essas palavras lindas e, e todo esse apoio ao amor, né? Mas ao mesmo tempo, tipo, falar, ok. É, é, é saber que... É, é, tem o mesmo valor que, tipo, que alguém é, fala, nossa, não, não, eu não gostei disso, ou, ou tipo, fala é, coisas que são ruins, né, de você. É, tipo, é ok. Se fosse bom, é, bom que você estiver falando de mim, ou se fosse ruim, eu vou ficar ok pros dois, né? Porque aí, é, mesmo eu falando obrigado, sei lá, eu agradeço muito, é, eu, eu aprecio muito a, as palavras... Eu sempre tento falar, ok, ah, mas é, é, tá, você gostou, que bom. <risos> não sei se é, faz sentido, eu não tenho as palavras uh, certas para é, explicar em português, mas acho que dá para entender um pouquinho, né? Porque tem que balancear o ego, o ego é um, tá aí, né? Ai, quer apreciar ele, tudo isso, mas aí tem que balancear, porque senão, up, você... Não, é muito bom. É... E eu vou interpretar agora o que eu acabei de falar também em espanhol. É, para mim, gente. Para mim, gente. Então, é, para quem não entendeu nem nada do que eu disse, bueno, eu basicamente disse que, aunque agradeço, bom, bueno, sempre agradeço e sempre he sido agradecida por todo o amor e o apoio que a gente me dá, tipo, todos, todos. Eh, os últimos anos que eu sempre he publicado e me he expressado aqui na internet. Porque, sinceramente, é incrível a. a o sea, como, como a la gente le llega mi curiosidad, ¿no? Bueno, mi curiosidad, mi creatividad, es lo que quiero decir. Um, y, y, y las cosas que yo comparto. Um, pero que al mismo tiempo es bien importante coger eso con, como que como un grano de sal. No sé si se dice así, si se, se, esa es la frase, pero como que, ok, te gusta lo que hago, ¿vale? Porque hay que balancear el ego, porque si yo me dejo llevar, y ay, Dios mío, y sí, yo soy la mejor del mundo, yo sí, ¿sabes? Después luego te, te crees, y no, 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 es importante tomar eso, igual como uno toma una crítica o algo, le dice, ok, ok. Entonces yo, con los comentarios y todo, aunque la presión un montón, y siempre, se, se, o sea, me llegan y lo siento, e então, a la mesma vez, digo, ok, eu não sou nadie. Al final do dia, não, não sou nadie neste mundo. Então, eh, nesse sentido, como que a gente eh, le llega o que hago porque se permitem que, que isso lhe dê algum tipo de valor, sabe? Um, não sei se faz sentido. Talvez em algum futuro me dê melhor entender, porque é que é difícil expressar esse sentimento, mas nada mais queria explicar isso aqui em breve. E, bueno, o um, que mais? O uh, conceito, eu quero brevemente explicar que o conceito de todo isso é que, por, por uma grande parte de isso que estou fazendo, no? estes vídeos e estes, estes, estes podcasts, eu vou a interpretar o que eu já havia falado em português ou em inglês, por uma, por uma parte, não? Não é que toda a coisa que hablen em todos os idiomas vai estar, ou seja, porque vai se hace difícil. Agora mesmo lo acabo de fazer porque quero dar esse mensagem, pero, eh, pero em geral, eu creo que se escuchas o vídeo inteiro ou la, el, el, el podcast entero, eh, não é muito que te perderás, vale? É o que quero dizer. Não é muito que te perderás se não sabes português ou não sabes inglês. Porque eu, eh, através de las conversaciones, não? Através de lo que hablo, eu vou dando contexto igual em cada idioma de lo que acabei de falar em esse idioma. E eh, y, y tampoco é que todos os episódios ou conversaciones serão como em, em, esse, em essa estrutura, não? De eu... Eh, hablar en los tres idiomas o yo traducir o interpretar lo que ca eh, bueno lo que hablo eh, puede ser que alguna vez decida yo que es mejor hablar en un idioma acerca de algo lo que sea o, o qué sé yo eh, o tener una conversación en varios idiomas con una persona y tal entonces por lo que 
veo a, a, a mucha gente, bueno, no, a una gran cantidad de gente le, le ha gustado esto que, que bueno, eh, por lo menos en el primer episodio, le ha gustado esto como lo, lo hizo. Entonces, ahí veremos cómo va, también cómo fluye, ¿no? Porque obviamente se hace difícil traducir todo, todo, todo y, y aparte luego se va a poner, no, es mucho tiempo para que la gente escuche. Mira, ahora ya llevo en como más o menos 21 minutos. Eh, entonces, um, eh, sí que es difícil. Entonces, eh, nada, quería explicar. Um, y lo voy a explicar ahora en, en inglés y en portugués porque son cositas, ¿no? Que es, es importante que la gente sepa y de ahí nos vamos con eh, lo que voy a hablar para este episodio, a ver si me da, a ver si me da. Y si no me da, bueno, grabo otro, otro día. <laughs> um, ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, so, now that I have that out of the way, I have another um, housekeeping, I guess. This is what I'm going through. And I have a little, I don't know what it is in my little, um, I don't know, my, I don't know, there's a hair on my tongue. Um, a, Um, yes, another, a second housekeeping or like just a general an important message that I, you know, want to share. And so that's why I'm interpreting, I'm being intentional about interpreting all this and, you know, all the, the three languages, um, is this, this concept, right? Of me jumping from language to language, you might not see it in every episode. Um, there may be times that I, I do just, you know, an episode that I decide to do an episode in just one language or maybe just two. Um, uh, but when you hear the episodes, when you listen to them or watch them, um, it's more than likely like that you're not missing a lot of information if you don't know Portuguese or Spanish because throughout, you know, when I do interpret um, across languages, I give, uh, and I even did it for the first podcast, um, I do provide um, context, right? I provide a lot of context and I also interpret what I just said in the other language. Um, I didn't make that clear enough in the first one because I just got so excited. Ah. <laughs> But um, that's where, you know, um, it, it's... It, Obviously, there's probably going to be minor information missed, um, but um, you, yeah, you probably won't miss a whole lot. Now, if you prefer the ones that are all in English, then, you know, you can watch the ones that are all in English. Um, if if you enjoy however this turns out to be, you know, whatever structures or, uh, you know, jumping from language to language, and so be it. Um, and so I just wanted to say that because I, I know there's people that obviously don't speak all three. Um, um, and I just want to let you know, because I also, maybe in the future I'll do subtitles, but oh, no, I, I don't think it's, it'll happen because there's just so much going on and I'll have to put like subtitles for two different languages. I think that's a lot. Um, and yeah, that's what I wanted to share. So there may be episodes, yeah, that it's just me jumping from language to language, but it's me like, you know, I'm, right now at the beginning of, of this whole thing, I'm being intentional about it because they're, you know, two important messages, messages that I wanted to share. Um, but, um, and yeah, maybe there's going to be episodes that I decided, you know, mostly in English or whatever it is, or, you know, in Portuguese or, or in Spanish. Um, we'll see how this goes. You know, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. We're learning. And you also can tell me what you prefer specifically, you know, if there's a topic specifically that you want to hear about in your language or the language that you know you're fluent in or a different like like you know english or portuguese uh by all means let me know um eh, bueno uh então in portuguese né yeah <laughs> esqueci tá tava tentando de de pensar em que é em que língua que eu preciso falar agora um só que é no começo neste podcast podcast né tem, eu tô, eu tô sendo, tipo, bem intencional, né? Eu tô, ensino, é, tô sendo intencional em falar, em, em, em interpretar né, o que eu tô falando, porque tem é, várias coisas que eu queria falar. Bom, duas coisas, <risos> pra te ser sincera. Eu sei que já tô falando muito, sei lá, mas aí logo depois... Um, é, já a gente entra no, 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 no tema, no tema não, 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 não no tema, no tópico, nossa, esqueci, do podcast. É, a segunda coisa, a informação importante que eu queria falar é que nem todos, todos os episódios vão, tipo, um, ser, é, vão ter o, o, o conceito de é, falar as três línguas, né? 
Às vezes pode ser que eu é, decida falar só em inglês, né? Aí, obviamente, você vai, vai saber aí quando eu, eu coloco o episódio. Ou só em espanhol, ou só, tipo, dois é, línguas. Uh, mas aí também, uh, os outros episódios, como, como este e o, e o primeiro, vai ter aquele conceito de é, eu falar três línguas. É, geralmente, nesses episódios, é, na, eu acho, geral, porque aconteceu no primeiro e também no... Acho que numa parte do segundo que eu, eu fiz. Mas é, quando você escuta ele, é, eu acho que não... Tipo, se você não fala inglês ou espanhol, você não perde... Uh, per, per, não, perco. Perdi. Acho que você não perde muita da informação, né? É, porque através do, do, do podcast eu vou falando, eu vou dando contexto do, do que eu estou falando, né? E eu vou interpretando ou traduzindo o que eu já falei nas outras uh, línguas, nas outras línguas. Um, então é isso, gente. É, aí vocês me deixam falar, é, me deixam saber, tipo, que se gostam desse conceito, né? Como as coisas é, vão indo, né? Estou aprendendo e, e é isso que eu quero falar, tá? Agora, eu acho... Opa, esse episódio vai ficar mais ou menos muito, é, 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 vai ficar, tipo, acho que quase uma hora, não sei, mas vamos ver, viu? Vamos ver que a gente vai entrar nele agora, é, pode ser que eu fique emocionada, tipo, é, emocionada, não sei, um pouquinho triste, é, né, porque os tópicos pode ser um pouquinho... É difícil de falar, mas vamos lá. We're gonna get into the episode now. Okay, last episode, I mentioned, um, maybe I'll get into, what was it that I, I mentioned? Um, my journey to holistic health, okay? Uh, before that, though, because I, I don't even know, maybe I'll get, I'm not sure how much I'll say, in this podcast because it's quite it or maybe i'll just give an overview i don't know we'll see um but before i get into it because um i know that's probably going to be a lot i do want to talk about elsie's future so sort of like the plan or, or or what this is because i feel like last episode was so, just so much happening um i mean the first yeah the first the first two episodes just me trying to find the flow of this right <laughs> um so um Yes, I had explained how, you know, the creation of Elsie came to be and um, sort of like it just evolved them, you know, from a, a travel blog, if you want to call it that. Um, I, but I, yeah, I, I think oh, that's what it was at the beginning. Um, excuse me. Um, and, you know, I've tried many different things with it and um, it's been hard to be consistent with it because of many different reasons. Um But um, I, I think because, mainly because I'm someone that has so many ideas and I always try to do so much that I cannot fully, like I don't give 100% to something, right? I'm, I'm giving parts of me to multiple projects. And so I've always been that kind of person. Maybe that I know that's a huge reason why it's taking me time to really um, focus on, you know, uh, exactly like one part of Elsie and what I want it to become um and you know after I had done it for so long when it was just focused on travel um I I you know I had launched my health coaching business and I did that for for some time um you know I've coached a total of three clients which has been absolutely incredible and I really um I'm probably gonna get in it uh back again soon um and so yeah I was doing that for some time which is so difficult to manage, you know, that whole thing. And I really, I really put in, like I saw when I just put in so much work to that, like how, how much I was able to grow the, the whole thing and create content, produce content for, you know, uh, mindfully being health coaching. Um, it's the name and you can, you know, check out the Instagram and all the incredible videos that I put together. I'm just like, wow, this pretty, pretty good at this thing. home, huh? pretty good. Um, and So I, you know, it, it, it felt good to do that. Um, however, like I said, it's been difficult to sort of like figure out, okay, this is what I'm going to do for, for Elsie for sure. 
Um, but then this at the beginning of this year, I, I had this this fire in me reignited because I had mentioned last episode or the first episode that I, you know, I've been working on full time. That's truly taken the soul out of me. Like it's great. Like the amount like, you know, it's just that so emotional is so much that it's hard to pour onto anything else. And so um but this the beginning of this year I, I received this good opportunity to, you know, possibly get back into Elsie and, and create some kind of project for it that um it was a, a grant and I applied for it. I, I was you know, I received it and I think I put everything together in less definitely in, yeah, in less than a month because the thing was due um maybe like four weeks after I found out about it. And I was like just um, you know, going all crazy about it. And I was just I felt like, oh my God, I love this excitement that I'm getting and this, this fire in me, right? It's so beautiful. Um and so I that's the project that I had mentioned at the first end of no, the second episode. Um and but I'm not gonna get into what the project was exactly. Uh, because yeah, it's going to happen later in the future. It didn't turn out this time. You know, I did the application and everything and I had incredible people help me with it. Um, but you know, didn't get it and that's completely fine. It's part of the process. I learned so freaking much. Um, applying for a grant is crazy, bro. Like, shit. Um, and so, but you know, I, I had this thought of like, man, I am this project. It's really going to take LC off and, 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 you know, um, and it, it will in the future, it will in the future and maybe in a, di- maybe, uh, the same project, but done in a, in a different way. Maybe this is, you know, going to continue taking LC off and, and probably going to become a pivotal point in what LC is and what comes out of, you know, this whole thing. I don't know. Um, and so essentially I, I wanted to mention that cause I had, I know I had brought it up. Uh, but the, you know, the whole goal of LC is to, um, empower people's stories and there's so many ways we could do that so that's I think that's why I become so overwhelmed there's so many ways we could do that and so many ways that I'm passionate of you know in doing that and so um I I like some things that I really would love to see is creating a travel fund for people to just give you know give the opportunity for them to travel um a travel fund or you know scholarships but well obviously scholarships would be created out of that um uh, but also um, continue being, you know, like finding creative ways to um, to share experiences, writing a book. That's always been a big one. Not even Elsie. That's just me. Um, people who know who know me <laughs> know this. Um, and um, what else? I yeah, travel fund um, being of service is, is just a, a huge thing and creating community and. Um, um, uh, I also really want to incorporate language learning and um, in a very different way than what we're used to, um, which I've talked about to many people that, you know, have conversation with, you know, this um, how how many people lack at the actual um, uh, opportunity to practice the languages they learn in, in school. Right. Like. The, they are taught languages but like you, okay you can't even and, and the teachers don't there's no opportunity for you to actually put it into practice verbally um and so I want to do something with that and 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 that's part of what you know the future holds for Elsie and anything that comes out of you know sh- shit this is part of it and I had for so long I had so like I'm like oh my god I love talking <laughs> people that know me know that I love talking and you that are seeing right now, you can tell. Um, and I think, um, this is a huge, huge part of it. Um, and I'm just excited. I don't know. Fu- uh, Elsie's future will continue unfolding and yeah. Hey, isso, gente. I think it's not about it. Like, a vida, a vida. A gente não tem muito tempo nesse mundo, sabe? A gente não tem. Fisicamente, sabe? É fisicamente só, porque eu, 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 pessoalmente, eu acredito que a gente vive eterno, eternamente. Uh, a gente tem vida eterna. Não, uh, tem pessoas que, que acreditam, acreditam que nem todo mundo tem vida eterna. Ah, pode ser. Eu sei que a vida eterna existe porque eu, cara... Pessoas que não estão aqui comigo agora, e é parte do que eu, que, eu queria falar para esse episódio, um, não sei se vai dar, mas eu sempre sinto elas, elas sempre estão comigo, 
Então, a gente não, é, a gente não tem muito tempo ati, assim fisicamente, fisicamente nesse mundo, então é importante a gente fazer coisas que, tipo, você... Que, que trazem muita emoção para você mesmo, né? Que você acha... Nossa, eu, eu quero... Eu quero me... Um, uh, challenge. Meu Deus, como eu falo challenge? Um, esqueci a palavra. I want to challenge myself, right? Um, e eu quero aprender alguma coisa nova, mas não precisa. Você não precisa saber, tipo, como que faz essa coisa. Só... Começa a fazer e aí você vai aprender. Cara, eu coloquei todo esse negócio aqui. Eu, talvez o, 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 o coisa aqui nem tá gravando. Não sei. Sabe? Tem um, 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 um sonido aqui que eu tô. Te, eu não sei. Tô, tô, eu só tô fazendo. Aqui a câmera ali tá, tá gravando, né? E é importante, né? Eu, eu, esse projeto de Elsie, sinceramente, é uma coisa que eu quero levar em vários tipo, avenidas, né? Muitos. É, eu tenho sempre, eu, eu tinha muitas ideias, por isso que eu, eu sempre, tipo, ficou muito difícil para eu, eu é, crescer eu, o, o projeto num, é, numa só ideia, porque aí eu ficava criando coisas novas, fazendo coisas novas, é, e, e aí, que, que, tem várias é, maneiras, né, tem várias é, formas de você empoderar as histórias da, a, das pessoas. E, e é isso a, a missão, a, a, a visão da, da Elsie. E eu fico muito emocionada, assim. <risos> Mas aí o futuro da Elsie é, é, bem, é bem lindo. Eu sei, eu sei. E é, tá acontecendo agora. Isso, isso mesmo, é isso aqui. O que eu sempre faço é através de de deu de valores que que eu se tem e eu, eu sei que eu sempre que, que o futuro é, é lindo porque eu, eu, eu tenho já vivido os, os, os anos né vivendo né desse jeito de eu acho que desde que eu era pequena eu, eu sempre fui assim uma menina curiosa uma menina muito nerd eu quero falar de tudo quero aprender de tudo eu quero é, compartilhar de tudo com a gente com as pessoas né então é, eu, eu tô muito emocionada por uh, o, o futuro de, 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 de Elsie. Aí eu, uh, eu tava fazendo um projeto, né? Eu tava aplicando, né? Pra uma... Não sei como falar grant, mas pra um... um eu não sei. Pra, basicamente, pra que alguém me dê dinheiro pra eu fazer um projeto, sabe? De, acho que era 10 mil dólares. Aí eu não consegui é, é, o... o a bolsa, não é bolsa, mas não consegui o dinheiro, né? eu não ganhei a, o... Não sei como fala. Mas é isso, eu não consegui, mas vai acontecer. No futuro vai acontecer. Eu aprendi muito disso e, e, e vai acontecer. Um... Ai, Deus mío, é tanto para falar, me estou agobiando. Mira, eu agora mesmo estou pensando se vou... Se voy a colocar esto en, en, en la... En la en, si lo voy a publicar. Ahora mismo lo estoy pensando porque es que son tantas las cosas y me estoy preguntando yo misma, ¿será que la gente lo escucha? ¿Será que le va a gustar? ¿Será que eh, esto como... Que, yo misma me estoy diciendo como que esto es aburrido. Esto es aburrido para escuchar. <risa> y la verdad es, Naomi. La verdad es... Y te voy a, te voy a pa pausar ahí. La verdad es que... No todos los episodios, no todo lo que hablas le va a gustar a todo el mundo. Y esa es la verdad. Puede ser que la gente vaya esquipeando, esquipeando y todo eso. y todo eso. ¿Qué va a que esquipeen? Puede ser que nadie lo vea. Y todo bien. Puede ser que tú estás ahora mismo en, en este... Eh, se está, que se está casi acabando. Bueno, sí. Ya casi. Acabando este video, ¿no? Y tú digas, ah, oh, ella no ha hablado casi de nada. Importante. No sé. va Eh... Esa es la presión mental que me estoy poniendo ahora, pero yo sé que por lo menos hay alguna cosa que yo he dicho que, que alguien se permitirá que le traiga valor. Y ese, esta es una de las dificultades en yo interpretar todo en cada, en cada lenguaje, ¿no? Eh, entonces, ahí veremos cómo vamos. Tal vez no es una forma eficiente, tal vez no... No, ¿sabe? no sé, ahí, ahí veremos. Y yo creo que... Que, o sea, me estoy sintiendo así ahora mismo porque quería hablar de algo, de, 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 de algo, bueno, de, 
algo muy profundo bien, eh, de, de mi historia, ¿no? Y estoy estresada que no me va del tiempo. <risa> Pero está bien, Naomi. ¿Qué, qué, qué? <risa> ¿Lo puedes hacer? Ay, la mente humana es algo. La mente humana es algo, mi gente. Ah, aquí vamos, entonces. Yo había dicho de, en, el, en el episodio anterior, no creo que lo había traducido, uh, pero uh, había dicho que quería hablar sobre mi... Mi... Um, mi paso como mi... No mi paso. Mi... Journey. Bueno, mi experiencia en la salud holística o como aprendiendo más sobre la salud mental y, y la salud física en, en sí, ¿no? Y, y cómo me vine a, a interesar por ese, por ese, por ese espacio de, de um, no sé. Ustedes, ustedes entienden. Estoy intentando traducir la palabra exactamente de inglés, pero eh, quiero hablar un poco de eso y luego, bueno. Eh, ahí veremos qué tanto hablo y la continuaré en el próximo episodio si no llego muy lejos, ¿sabes? Um, bueno, vamos a comenzar. Eso es muy importante, muy importante porque hay varios temas acá en esta, en esta historia. Y puede ser que yo le nada más hable de en breve, ¿no? Y luego puede ser... Oh, ay, se desconectó. Ay. ay, no estaba grabando. ¿Ve lo que digo? Se me desconectó el audio de acá. No, no, ya. Esto me da un poco de ansiedad toda esta cosa. Uy. Ok. Eh, entonces. A ver. Naomi. Pequeña Naomi. Obviamente. Eh, uno. Por la mayoría de, de su crianza. Uno va entendiendo. Que la salud más importante. Es la física. ¿Verdad? Porque. Siempre cuando se habla de salud, uno siempre, la mayoría del tiempo, por lo menos eh, en nuestra cultura hispana, latina, ahí, yo creo que en general, ¿no? En, una, en, en la gran mayoría de, de, del mundo, o en una gran parte del mundo, uno se enfoca tanto en lo físico que se le olvida que, oye, sh. y obviamente en estos últimos años es que se está hablando más un poco, se está hablando un poco más sobre eso, y... Eh, yo quería hablar de, de bueno, cómo yo a, comencé a aprender o ver cuál es la importancia de, de la salud mental y, y, y cómo yo, bueno, aprendí a ver las conexiones de cómo, oh, mira, esto me sucedió y, y, y esto afectó esto y esto y ya. Eh, y parte de lo que quiero hablar es que yo como niña, a mí me daba muchos ataques de ansiedad, mucho, yo lo comenté, yo creo que en el, el primer episodio, Muchos at ataques de ansiedad por separación de mis padres, porque como estábamos viendo de aquí y de allá, yo me, en serio, yo siempre he sido bien sensible, siempre, siempre, lo he sido bien sensible y lo sé, y, eh, o sea, eh, es algo también que me gusta, pero es también súper difícil uh, uh, vivir así, ¿no? Esa de... Eh, con eh, de esa forma porque bueno todo tienes que asegurarte de que no te llegue muy profundo y va muy sensible y yo desde niña sí he sido así y entonces um, esa es una de las cosas que yo me, me fijé que obviamente ya a, ya siendo adulta la he manejado un poco un poco mejor pero en decir eso eh, me yo eh, bueno menciono esto porque a eso de los seis años, cuando me vine acá a los Estados Unidos, yo perdí a una persona que en ese tiempo era muy importante para mí, o yo por lo menos me, o sea, se, me sentí bien segura en, en él. Y era un tío mío, tío Mario. Y yo recuerdo vivamente, sin embargo, los otros días fui, fui a la casa de él, que yo usualmente no, no, no visito mucho. Y me trae mucha memoria y... Fue una, una muerte, fue mi primera muerte que yo recuerdo, ¿no? Y me pegó mucho porque yo recuerdo que yo hasta le, le escribí una carta, la recuerdo, ¡ay! <ríe> no me nada. Le, le escribí una carta y se la puse ahí en el, en el cosa, ¿no? Eh, en la caja donde estaba. Y nada, eh, eso fue mi primera experiencia en lo que es, no, eh, perder a alguien eh, físicamente. Um, Uh, deja, so, I'm seeing, I got maybe 
10 minutes let's see 10 yeah probably like 10 minutes um i don't know if i should cut this off or hmm you know because i'm really stressing about this episode but we're just gonna fucking keep going um i'll probably you know cut this off make another video (laughs) and it'll be a different episode (laughs) like why am i stressing um but you know just to say I, I just want to, you know, briefly touch on uh, the subject that I, I, I wanted to, to focus on uh, for this episode. And that was um, just my, my journey to, you know, to holistic health and just health overall and understanding what health is. And um, I just explained in Spanish that one of my, you know, first uh, experience, well, my first experience in losing someone was when I was six years old and I had, you know, just arrived or seven years old or uh, arrived here uh, to the United States, I I lost an uncle. Um, and I, I remember, you know, like this was a person that I just felt so safe with. I I remember feeling so safe with him and he, um, he just, there was so much love in him. (laughs) I'm getting emotional already. Um, there was so much love in, in him and he always shared it with me and I just felt that. Um, and I remember that when he passed, I, I wrote a letter to him and I, I wish I could know what I wrote because <laughs> like what are what is a six year old seven year old write on a you know a letter to a dead person um and I wrote a letter to him and I put it on top of him I remember I put it on top of his body um oh <laughs> see I knew I was gonna get emotional and this is just the beginning like there's so much but you know what it's beautiful it's beautiful and I I get emotional out of the simple fact that I just First of all, I'm allowing myself to because that's just, I'm a very sensitive person. That's just who I am. And also because there's beauty in it um, in this these experiences that I've had. And now that I'm re- I'm still able to, tr- you know, reflect on them and just look back on them. Um, but yeah, I, I wrote a letter to him and I, I just, like that was my very first, you know, um, uh, understanding of what grieving, um, what grieving is. And... I I don't recall much after like if I struggled. I'm pretty sure I struggled um as ugh. I uh, oh my god, I'm getting emotional because although I don't remember if I struggled, I I know I probably did cuz that that uncle of mine, he gave me so much emotional support that I lacked, you know, from from like family members while, while growing up cuz I was just I was so sensitive and you know, when your parents are just trying to freaking feed you and <laughs> keep you alive um, and keeping themselves alive, there's not much else they could do. And so this uncle of mine, oh, my God, this is crazy. He provided so much of that for me during my first year, like um, first, you know, time that I had because I had literally just arrived in New York and um, when he passed, I, I wrote that letter and it's just, you know, that was my first time of grieving and so I'm just, I'm also crying for the little Naomi because shit, bro. Ooh, like what the hell do you, as a kid, is is I could imagine the, the things and I don't know. Um, Anyways, that was my, uh, you know, my first experience of, of grieving and, and, and I guess understanding of what it meant or somewhat an understanding of what it meant to lose someone. Um, and I mentioned this because this is, this all ties into it. And, you know, um, if this triggers you, you know, don't, don't continue watching it. Um, but just know, I'm also going to continue talking about very sensitive and triggering subjects like, um, suicidal ideation, depression, um obviously more grief and um you know these things so do not watch especially the next episode because that's gonna there's gonna be a lot in there um but just a heads up you know because i i don't know if i i'll have time to get into it in this one um i um (sighs) where was i going with this oh the reason why i bring this up is because i um you know this it at the at that time period um i you know i and thankfully i recall that that happened but i also had other losses you know unfortunately but like such as life i had other losses that i i experienced later on um and i you know um it's it's a huge part you know my i guess one of the lessons that i i gained from all these stuff is 
it's so e- like it's it's not too hard for me to like go off people because I know either way people leave. <laughs> it's kind of deep and dark. I don't know. Um, if you want to continue hearing more about this, I'm gonna just pause this this video because I know it's about to cut off. Um, and I don't want to, you know, just for editing purposes, it just makes it easier. Um, but if you want to continue hearing about this, um, uh, just just wait for the next episode. Okay, wait for the next episode. I'll continue. I'll talk about grief i'll continue talking about grief and as i mentioned the other topics and you know um a lot of it is going to revolve around like my you know like my understanding of of health overall so physical you know being in sports and being an athlete um and at the same time um uh just dealing with you know parents divorcing and uh, multiple having you know many moments of not wanting to be here and just wanted to end it um and um yeah, and the cre- and then which all leads to my creation of of the health coaching business that I had mentioned at the beginning of this episode. So if you want to continue hearing about this, just wait until the next episode. Um, and yeah, we'll keep it going. We'll keep it going. Thank you so much for for listening to this one. <laughs> um, just so grateful for you. So grateful for you. Um, grateful for being here. And um, yeah into the next one which i'm about to record right now but um <laughs> just thank you all right ciao beijos